the qualifying distance of 61 meters 50 we're looking for the top dozen and the way things uh, worked out in that a group it's going to take something either beyond the 6150 or very close to it to go through Christina Oberkfall of Germany who's had a tremendous season and is such a consistent performer at this level but has yet to walk away from the championships with a gold medal on the global level Sunet Fulyun there of South Africa another top class thrower in the world's top 10 Kimberly Mickle of Australia, 64-35 this season. She the sixth longest thrower in 2013. There's Urbuk Fall, 67-70 this year. Has been beyond 70 metres before. And Urbuk Fall turns 32 in uh, six days' time. Katrina Molitor there of Germany. The Germans already with one qualifier, Linda Stahl. High hopes of getting three. There is uh, Fillion. 69 metres, 35 at her best, but she's some way short of that at the moment in 2013. So Daroshkina from Russia getting a, a good hand as always. Silver medalist in Kazan. A few uh, weeks ago, there is uh, Warren Weir just finishing very strongly. Da Silva Jr. of Brazil, 2073. He will have to hope he progresses as a fast loser. High quality competition, the 200, as we saw in the men's, in the women's, I should say, as well. Infield, Group B, early stages of qualification for these Group B throwers. Kimberly Mickley from uh, Australia, looking to achieve the 6150 mark which would uh, represent automatic qualification to the final. And she's just short of the 60-metre mark. 59.92 for Kimberly Micklet, nine times Australian champion. So down in seventh place. Well, this from a few moments ago, we've already got one German through from the A group, Linda Stahl. Christina Oberg fall twice an Olympic medalist, twice a world silver medalist, her first throw, 61 meters 50, and that safely over the qualifying mark. It was measured at 62 meters 36, and Oberg fall of Germany is into another global final at the age of 31. And, uh, he will be waiting to see in fact he got third so he did qualify automatically 2059 identical time to uh, jason livermore but that was a bit ragged from spearman yes he got third by an enormous one one hundredth of a second here's molitor two germans already into the final can molitor make it three not yet So Stahl, Oberkfall, they are through. Molitor has still got a little bit of work to do in this big group of the Javelin. Still the opening round. So plenty of time yet for Molitor, but she'll need to improve on that. 57 meters 17. Next up to throw the uh, South African Villian. bronze medalist a couple of years ago well that's a monster isn't it look at that not only qualification but that well that's a statement of intent as well surely that is very good throwing from uh, Sunet Villian it's a sort of form that took it to two Commonwealth Games titles but that in a world-class field, is just short of 65 metres. And that is very, very impressive. 
64-51, yeah. It's the season's best. 64 metres 51. Of uh, the British team would be on that. Kimberly Mickle from Australia. Second throw for the former World Youth Champion. 61-50, the qualifying mark. Oh, my word. Where has that come from? Kimberly Mickle, well, 61-50, and it sailed over for the Australian, and that is surely a new personal best for her. 64-35, her lifetime best coming into these championships, and that has sailed over. That is more than 65 metres. 65-73, Kimberly Mickle. Well, that is great throwing. This is Li Lingwei of China, 65-metre thrower, although she's just short of 61 metres this season, has yet to get beyond 59, so she'll need more than that to make it through to the final. Let's see how she goes here. Brilliant throw a few moments ago from Mikkel. And there is the Chinese, and that has pretty much pierced that 61.50 mark. Be interested to see quite what that is measured at. But Li Lingwei, the Asian champion from this season, a much better throw than her opening effort. And for the Chinese, that has gone a 61-51. She's done it by one centimeter. Season's best performance. I said, I think Bolt can uh, afford to have the conversation. I think one or two others certainly can't. <laughs> Here's uh, Jalachi going in this uh, B group of the javelin. And that is over the 60 meter line. So uh, the quality in this women's javelin is improving all the time. That was a great effort. The Serbian getting beyond the uh, Qualifying distance, 62 metres 68, and that is a Serbian national record. Great performance from Tatiana Jelaccia. Next up, Katrina Molitor from uh, Germany, looking to follow Christina Urbekfell into the final. And, well, still some work to do from Molitor, and I think that's it. Well, it's not gone according to plan for Molitor this morning here in qualification. Well, that's 58.03 with one more throw to throw. So uh, she is aiming to follow Obergfell into the final. Let's Christina hear now from uh, Christina Obergfell. 62.36, how was that this morning for you? Not so easy, a little bit too early in the morning for me. But I just saying to myself, you have qualified for the final so you're capable of doing that I've done it and yeah I've got to be happy with that how much did you have to draw on to get through to the final well 62 meters is uh, not my usual medal but this morning it was all about qualification for the final and of course I have to find a few more meters in the final well, your aim, of course, must be to get a medal here in a global championship. Well, I think 62 also would be enough to get a medal here in Germany, and I think I'm there or thereabouts in the mix. Victoria Sudaruskina. No throw in the opening round for the Russian. The noise is ramped up in the stadium. And then it goes terribly quiet. And that is why. No throw in the opening round. And that second effort falling a long way short. The 
world student game silver medalist from Kazan needs to find another six or seven meters well let's hear now from you're taped up on your right foot any reason for concern there no there's no reason for concern I just had a small cut so it's just to protect me from the spikes really what are you doing during the day this evening the semi-finals uh, how will you prepare for that relax well, it's just to go home get some food and then just to chill out afterwards and maybe get some sleep maybe okay thank you very much see you tonight all right thanks Have a little nap, get some food, a little insight into the life of Mr. Hugh Bolt. Well, this is Brittany Borman of the United States, opened up with 53 meters 20, and this time she's gone to 57 meters 63. So another athlete has got it all to do in the last round. At the moment, Qualifiers led by Maria Bakamova, 69.09. Mikkel, 65.73. Stahl, 64.51. Filyun of South Africa, the same. Catherine Mitchell, the second Australian going through, 62 metres 80. We do now have 10 automatic qualifiers. 12 spot at the moment is Yuki Ebahara of Japan, 59 metres 80. So we need almost 60 metres to make it into... The final here. And that very, very close indeed from Lakmali. I suspect it's not quite enough. 59.80, Ebihara. 12 spot over the two pools. And the Sri Lankan. Long pull of the arm. She is a 60 meter thrower. 59.09. And she will miss out. 13th spot at the moment. Well, this is Lena Muse from a few moments ago, the Latvian. The dying embers of this javelin qualification competition. The throw is needing something very close to 60 meters. And, well, the spear performed something of a somersault when it hit the ground, but it made the mark. And that's a tremendous improvement there from Muse. And I think she's done enough now. 60 meters. Should be enough, and that's come down just over 60 meters. Tremendous effort. Well, this is Christina Molitor. Two Germans in the final. Molitor has some work to do. It'll have to be beyond 60 metres to stand any sort of chance. And it's gone out, and it's round about 60, but there's a shake of the head, and that rather tells the story. And Molitor resigned to her fate. It's been a high-quality second pool, this. The likes of uh, Kimberly Mickles, Annette Fillion, Obergfall got the uh, throw out very early and Molitor, well it's beyond 60, 60 metres 32, well it could prove to be enough there for Molitor, it's very very close indeed. So the Rushkina, next to throw for Russia, lying down in, uh, well she's in 8th place. Well, that is qualification now. Slightly ahead of myself, I beg your pardon. That was the throw that effectively seals qualification for Victoria Shudarashkina, and she needed that. And that will be of some relief to the Russian. 61.50, the qualifying mark, and that is 62.20 for Shudarashkina. Puts her up into eighth place, and it is very, very bunched down in those lower placings with a whole bunch of throws there on 60 meters plus battling for that final spot and you have to wonder where that throw came from because her first two efforts were very very poor indeed here is the uh, Sri Lankan the Sri Lankan record holder at the moment it's Katrina Molitor who is in that 12 spot with 60 meters 32 and that's going out towards 60 and it's there or thereabouts from the Sri Lankan 
and this could be bad news for Germany because the Germans at the moment have three of the leading 12 with Molitor maybe having just squeezed into the final until now Nadika Lakmali 60-64 her Sri Lankan national record it could even be threatening that 60 meters 39 it's not a Sri Lankan national record but as things stand it's a place in the final Molitor is now out so the javelin throws leaving uh, the stadium and it promises to be a high quality final there were some good throws there uh, in the qualification competition and that's a Kimberly Mickle great effort from her Christina, Christina Obergfell taking just one throw to go through for Germany two Germans into the final there you can see Mikkel, 65-73. Abakamova of Russia is the athlete really to follow in that A group. Sunet Pulyun of South Africa returned to form from her season's best performance. Sudorashkina of Russia. Well, where did that last throw come from after the first two efforts, which frankly were pretty feckless? They are some of the athletes who will not be coming back for the final. Full qualification list there for the javelin final headed by uh, Abakamova, world lead, and heading the way. What a throw, though, from uh, Kimberly Mickle there. An absolute monster personal best from her. Always good to see. And uh, that is the full list of uh, finalists for the javelin.